Hi guys. Okay, I've got an awesome video for you that you're all gonna wanna see. Trust me, if I do say so myself. I think I figured out a piece of the puzzle that is Zoe. So I'm stoked. And I thought maybe what I figured out for myself is gonna help some of you. Okay, so we're gonna talk stress and the adrenals. Basically what I found is that when I am in a high stress situation and I feel that fight or flight response, I have a hard time coming down from it after the stressor is gone. So here's the deal, okay? Your adrenal glands are located on top of your kidneys. And when you are faced with an emergency, a stressor, you feel panic, your adrenals secrete cortisol and adrenaline. That helps to shut down like your digestive system, your immune system, everything. And it sends all the energy to help you get away from that stressor. Now, this is awesome when you're trying to get away from a bear, right? Because you just want like all your energy to get away from the bear. Once you're safe, then you want your body to go back to status quo. What happens, I think, for me and others is that when you get in a state of stress that's sort of like continuous and goes on for a while, your adrenals keep firing. So they keep releasing cortisol and adrenaline, and this is not good for your body. When you have too much of this going on, that's when you get that super shaky feeling, you startle a lot, um, you can't sort of like catch your breath, it can start to mess with your digestive system, with your blood sugar, both of which I've had problems with. It just sort of feels like um, you have too much energy and no energy all at the same time. If this continues, you end up with adrenal fatigue, which is where your adrenal glands can no longer even secrete cortisol um, or adrenaline. And that's when you just like feel exhausted and you're wiped out. And this is gonna wreak havoc on all the systems in your body as well. So what we need to do is find ways to reduce our cortisol levels, come back from that fight or flight response and just get back to normal. So ways that I found that really help me, um, obviously sleep is something everyone says all the time. I know for me, eating whole foods and not processed foods is a huge one, yet I still fall into the trap of like ease and being lazy and wanting to just grab something out of the cabinet, but that really does not work well for me. So I need to go back to eating whole foods. The times when I'm feeling like super jittery and stressed, I use what's called the four, seven, eight breathing technique. So you breathe in through your nose for four seconds, hold it for seven seconds, and then release it out through your mouth for eight seconds. And that really helps me just like in the moment. And then obviously like exercise and yoga. And I think part of what happened to me, not to get too much into it, but was like end of year stress and then I hurt my ankle and then I couldn't do my exercises that I love to do and it sort of like spiraled out of control. Okay, so things we can do to help us reduce our cortisol levels, the ones I just talked about, but also you guys know I'm a huge Young Living fan huge essential oil fan because they've helped me so much. The first thing I got them for to help me with was sleep and that has 100% worked and really helped with my mood overall. So let's talk about the oils I would suggest to use um, to help with stress. The first one is Stress Away. It's a blend of different oils. It's awesome, it smells really good. They call it vacation in a bottle. The second one is peace and calming. This is probably my favorite one. I diffuse it in the car, I diffuse it at night. I love this one and my kids love this as well. The last one is a must and that's lavender. So lavender has actually been shown in studies to reduce cortisol levels. They even did a study with kids at the dentist and showed that inhaling even a small amount of lavender reduced their cortisol levels. I think that's awesome. 
Okay, the next one that's supposed to help stabilize cortisol levels is nutmeg. So Young Living has a line of vitality oils, the ones with the white label, which are FDA approved for ingestion. So don't do this with any other oils, only Young Living. Um, you can put one drop under your tongue four times a day and that will help with your adrenals. Um, you can also just diffuse it. The next one I love and use every single day is called Energy, which is a blend of different oils, including nutmeg. This is really good for supporting the adrenal glands and really good for giving you a boost of energy without it being that like vibrating energy. So I just put one of the roller tops on and I rub it right over where my kidneys are. Okay, the next one is Progescence Plus. So this is the first progesterone serum ever. It's made from wild yams and I'm obsessed and super highly recommend this. I almost would say if you were just gonna get one thing from Young Living, make it this, okay? Because this has helped me so much with my PMS symptoms, just like, Everything, just I super, super recommend this. Um, and also when your adrenal glands are constantly firing, your progesterone levels can get lower. So this is great for helping to stabilize your progesterone levels. Okay, the next one is you need um, vitamin B to support your adrenals. This is super important, also important for energy. So Young Living has a super B supplement that I love that has eight um, vitamin Bs in it. It's awesome. Okay, this last one is new to me and I just started taking it probably like a week ago after doing a bunch of research and I love it. It's called Cordostop. So you're supposed to take it twice a day and only for eight weeks. And I would suggest this if you're feeling in that constant fight or flight state where you can't like stop vibrating, this is what you want to go to for eight weeks. Because within this first week that I've been taking it, I notice a huge difference. Like I now wake up in the morning and feel normal as opposed to like jumping awake, which is a terrible, terrible feeling. So this has a number of herbs and hormones to naturally help the body respond to stress. It has DHEA in it, which is basically like the counter to cortisol. So it's gonna help um, lower those levels of cortisol, and it's gonna also help with adrenal fatigue if you have that. Um, it also has a bunch of essential oils in it, like frankincense, which helps with stress, fennel and peppermint, which helps with your digestive system. So Cordostop is awesome. Those are just like a few of the ones that I end up using every single day to help me. And so I hope that helps you. If you guys have any questions at all, reach out. Or if you have suggestions for other things, I would love to hear them. Have a great day. Be stress-free. <laughs>